Hello folks, this is Max with Able Website Pro with another tutorial for you about the flash update bug. So you're strolling along one of your favorite websites and all of a sudden you get this little pop up here. Warning, critical warning, update your flash player, blah blah blah. And you think to yourself, well Able Website Pro has a uh, virus. Well that couldn't be further from the truth. The fact of the matter is that millions of computers are infected with this flash update driver bug virus and I'm going to show you how to remove it. Now this will not affect your uh, like if you have a uh, Norton security or Microsoft security essentials it's going to be clean. You can see here my computer currently right now is infected with this adware and my PC is shown at, that it's clean. I've got the green check mark. Okay so what can you do? All right, well, the first thing is you need to remove this from your computer. So what you want to do is go to your control panel. Let me bring up my control panel here, okay, and click uninstall a program. Now, the problem with this particular one is that it could be one of several different programs, okay? So you're going to have to narrow down what one it is. If this just started happening, you could click this and get the latest, latest uh, installs. You see the latest updates right here, okay? Now, you notice as I scroll down here, I've had this on here for a little while now, and I'm going to show you exactly where it's at. It starts with the next. Here we go. Windows 7 drivers, okay? It could come in the form of a lot of different things, and then you think to yourself, well, if I, I don't want to delete my Windows 7 drivers, that's not from Microsoft. You see, it's ASIX Electronics Corporation, okay? So this is the culprit for my particular flash update uh, bug, okay? So I'm just going to click uninstall, and it's going to say, uh, it's going to do the uninstall process for me. And do you want to completely remove? Yes, I do. Goodbye. Goodbye, bug. Okay? So that's what's going to happen there, and then you just go through that process. Now, the other thing, not only could it reside on your computer itself, okay, but it also can reside within your browser, okay? So what you want to do is you want to, if you're in the Chrome, Google Chrome browser, you go over here to Tools and you look at your extensions, okay? Now let me bring the extensions over here so you can see what I'm talking about. And you can see here I have Adblock, I have Google Cast. I don't have it in this particular uh, extension but what it will say is a flash update or something of that nature okay uh, for uh, Firefox you would follow something similar go here and you would go to options I believe let me see if the options come up and then I want to go to applications and you see I have no applications oh there we are and what we want to do is we want to go down through here and see if there's anything here that looks suspicious that I don't use, okay? So I want to look for the flash update. Um, and you can also go to uh, different uh, support uh, websites that have the list. See, the problem is with this is that there's several different types of uh, names that it can be called, you know. They, they could call it anything they want, but you want to look for the source. And uh, Safari, you would want to do something similar. Uh, go to your settings. Um, I, I believe that it is preferences in Safari. And let that load up. You'll see extensions right here. Extensions can be created by third-party developers, so you can turn that on or turn it off, okay? Just like that there. All right, and that's what I would encourage you to do if you're having some problems with that. All right, uh, next, Internet Explorer. Uh, what we want to do is go click the little gear icon, manage add-ons, and let that load up for you, and there's the, the you know, Here's some things from Adobe Systems, uh, Shockwave, Object Flasher. Look for anything that's suspicious here. Uh, there's the Hewlett Packard Company, 
and then real networks. I don't really have anything that's foreign in here as well because I don't use it as much. I'm basically a Chrome guy because that's where I do all my programming. Anyway, I hope this video was able to help somebody out. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, please leave them below. I'll try to look into them as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye.